Hello everyone, this is Jacob Ship from Philippines Lazada here to talk to you about this product called KN Universal Remote Control for TV. This is model RM133E. This is suitable for most major brands and also 100 brands which are slightly known. So the first stop is the advantage of the product. Here you can see the major brands like Sony, Samsung, Sanyo, Hitachi, National, Philips, LG, JVC, Gold Star, Changhong, Skyward, TCL, Sharp, Panasonic, and so on and so forth. This could be used for TVs like LED, LCD, and the box type, the old box type TV. But our uh, caution is this is a simple remote control for, for simple persons needing volume program, TV off, uh, source, and menu. This does not include features like 3D and all the menus that uh, are so advanced. We have a different remote control for that, okay? But in this case, we're talking about RM133E, which is a good remote control, controllable by your parents, grandparents, children, and the likes. Okay, this is the made of it. And this comes in a black and white uh, variety. And for this video, we will use this white colored remote control. So, we included free, two free AA batteries that could last a year without worrying about battery costs. That's free, by the way. Okay. So, first up, how to use this. Okay. You could either um, read the included manual or you could uh, continually watch this video so could discuss some instructions still so in the let's tackle first the easiest way to set your remote control as you can see number one is Toshiba number two is Philips 3 Sanyo Sharp for Hitachi 5 and EC6, 7 is Samsung, 8 is Sony, 9 is Gold Star and LG, and 0 is Panasonic. Now that's for one touch press programming. Okay, the ba basic thing is you need to point the remote control this sensor to your TV and then press the corresponding brand by the way you need to turn on your tv or else it wouldn't work so when you press for example in our case we have a samsung tv let's focus on that okay and you could see that there's the samsung at number seven okay so pressing this button continuously don't release it until you see that the TV reacts by turning the volume on or down or up okay so let's try it I'm pressing now number seven continuously press the indicator lights turns on and let's wait for the volume right there okay 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 when you see the volume release it immediately okay let's try this okay the volume works uh, the channel works the source works okay and the off works Okay, so 
that's your first option. The second option are for those we whose brands are not in here. Okay, let's turn off the TV first to avoid distraction. Um, if your brand is not not in here, you could opt for this menu. <clears throat> Excuse me. You must. This is an all for one, or this is a shotgun approach. You could just press this button, the set button, for three seconds until the light turns on continuously and then press the down volume button one don't press it i mean press and release one two three four what you're after for here is is the volume also the volume yes when you see it stop oh there you go you could see that the volume reacted so now now that you're on the right code, just press one, the set button. And then, there you go. If ever, your remote reacts on some buttons and other buttons don't work, like the menu button does not work, you could, again, press the set button and the down button it cycles to the remaining codes that are left on the on the cycle this is a uh, hundred of codes that you are cycling through that you are crying for your tv so that's it the third one is a bit complicated but you need that just in case you could not turn on your TV or I mean uh, there's there are TVs that don't work uh, when when you press the volume button okay they don't switch on so in that case you need to set using the codes provided here in the menu okay For example, let's turn that off. Okay, let's turn off for now. And let's turn that off. And there are codes here, like for for this instance, Samsung. This is how you use the code. Okay. Um, press set button again just like in the previous for three seconds until that indicator light turns on continuously and then enter the code here for example 008 008 when you enter the three codes you could notice that the light is off that means that you could try now to turn on turn off the turn on it doesn't work or the volume doesn't work so you need to enter again the next code okay so again once more set button for three seconds and then zero eleven zero one one and try it on off no but no reaction so we, we've done this and found out earlier that it's zero thirty seven so we uh, we just on this model okay so yours might be on zero twenty one or zero twenty four depending on the brand of your samsung tv so to save time we'll just uh input this code 037 so again set button for three seconds and then 03 
7. Let's turn it off. Okay, there you go. Turn it on. Okay. So, that's about it. I hope you enjoy this product. And, um, by the way, there's a manual here uh, talking about the how to use the codes okay so in summary there are three kinds of ways you could set or program this for your tv the first one is just pressing continually what code it is like toshiba one press continuously until the volume button comes up then release the second one the universal for all all TV is just uh, press continuously the set button and the down button until you see the volume button, the volume indicator there. Okay, then turn set off. And the third one is the inputting of the codes which you could see in the included manual okay the third one was uh, set for three seconds and then input the code which is 037 in my case then there you go let's try and watch tv now okay this is on signal uh, on hdmi and there no signal because uh, it's off. Let's turn it on. I'm sorry for the video. Okay, and there you go. Signal TV. And again, this is Jake of Ship from Philippines Lazada. I hope you like this product and I hope you buy this product. See you again. Bye.